Hello there, I'm Sky Guy the Jedi, and this, this is day number two of Sky Guy's Padawan Week. Man, eh, maybe. Where every day for the next five days, I will be sharing one simple tip that'll have a big difference in how you play Star Wars Jedi challenges. Whew, that was a mouthful. Okay, so at the start of this video, you saw three different comments from three different people, all complaining about how impossibly difficult Lil Thal is in strategic combat. So just really quickly, for those who don't know, strategic combat is one of the three game modes in Jedi Challenges, where you have complete control of an entire battlefield, and you have to use soldiers, laser towers, vehicles, heroes, to fight, like wave after wave of enemy forces. It's not everyone's favorite, game mode in Jedi challenges, but it is necessary for progressing in lightsaber battles. And by that I mean if you ever want to fight the Darth Vader, if you ever want to destroy Kylo Ren the way that Snoke destroyed him for losing to a girl, his words, not mine, hashtag feminism, and if you ever want to kick the absolute Bantha fodder out of the archivist, first you have to beat Lothal. And <laughs> it's not that easy to do. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the one thing preventing you and a lot of other people from beating Lothal. This is also gonna help you for future levels of strategic combat, so listen up. <sighs> yeah, that was that was a lot of words. I apologize. It's just I feel like I haven't really talked to you know what? Screw it. Roll that intro. I am happy to see you again. Okay guys, now we're gonna dive into the game and I am going to reveal what this big giant secret is. <laughs> okay, we've got Jedi challenges loaded up. I'm going to enter Lothal, then strategic combat. Okay, so, so here is the big secret. You ready? Because I didn't really give this any sort of attention until after I lost like 30 straight times on the second level. By now, you should have seen in previous levels, after you win, you would sometimes get these upgraded soldier squads, or more powerful laser towers, or stronger rocket towers. At first, I just thought these were rewards for winning the match, but no. These are rewards for achieving a specific objective. And those objectives are listed right here in these pre-match menus. So for Lothal level 2, the objective is destroy two of the enemy anti-air turrets. For Lothal level 3, you have to preserve 80% of the transmission tower console's health. Every level on every planet has these upgrade objectives. Now, the upgrade objectives for the levels that you are stuck on are irrelevant. Because if you can't beat Lothal level 2, then you're sure as hell not going to achieve that objective. So that means that you have to go back to every other level of strategic combat up to this point and make sure that all of those objectives have been achieved. All of them. They are essential to winning. After I kept losing over and over again on Lothal, I went back to play on other levels of strategic combat just for fun, just to remember what <laughs> it feels like to win, and thinking nothing of it at all, I thought I was just doing it for the street cred, I decided to go after the upgrade objectives. Once I did, I realized, oh, I just got a stronger laser turret, oh, I just got a stronger rocket tower. Hang on, let me go try Lothal again. Then I just blew right through it like it was nothing. Like to the point where strategy wasn't even necessary to win. It was almost embarrassing. So as you can see right now, I am just blowing through Lothal level 3 because although I've already beaten the game and I've got like the highest upgraded gear that you could possibly get. I just wanted to show you how much easier this level is once you've got the upgrades. I am only using laser turrets and rocket towers. No soldiers, no ships, no Ezra, no strategy whatsoever, just towers. As soon as these towers are ready to take out of the oven, they're going straight to the battlefield. And by the end of this match, you'll see, I'm gonna fast forward here, you'll see that not only does my transmission tower have 100% health still, but all of my laser and rocket towers I've put down are still alive. Six waves of enemies couldn't destroy a single one of my towers. So do not overlook the upgrade objectives. Unlike the objectives in lightsaber battles, these are actually good for something. And that is my single biggest tip for getting past any strategic combat level 
that you are stuck on. Okay guys, now that you know what's possible with a fully upgraded squad, go on, go forth and beat Lothal, beat the Bantha fodder out of it, gut it with a machete or a, a lightsaber equivalent of a machete, a, a light shetty, a Mashaber. <laughs> a Mashaber. A Mashaber. You're a Shaber world. That's nothing. I wish you best of luck. Let me know how it all turns out for you in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you tomorrow for day number three. I don't even know what it's going to be about yet. <laughs> so may the force be with you. And remember. Last time, what you have learned.